So to start off, have you always lived in Augusta, Georgia? No. Okay. How did you end up living in Augusta? Well, I was born in Augusta, but I moved away for college and came back. So for me, I've lived in Augusta my whole life. I'm away at college right now, though. Um, so right now, um, while I'm home for the summer, my family lives in like a single family structured home. Um, it's like a five-bedroom house. Uh, could you tell me what kind of home you live in? I live in a, a brick structure. It's a story and a half. Uh, I've got two full bathrooms and four bedrooms. Okay. Um, so, have you ever invested in solar, either rooftop for your home, your property, or as part of your business? I have not. Okay. Um, could you tell me... Why do you do not have rooftop solar? And was that decision made for you, or was it something you had the choice and you just didn't want? Uh, it's really just because of the cost benefits on solar. Uh, you know, recently in the last few years, solar has not been the most cost effective way to have for, you know, for, for elect generation of electricity for your home. Uh, it works well maybe in uh, secondary homes uh, like summer retreats and stuff like that. And then secondly, I was advised not to get rooftop solar if I was thinking about it because of a fire hazard. Okay. Um, so you were telling me a little bit before we started the recording about that. Could you just elaborate a little bit more on the fire hazard part? Just how you said it. Just... Friend. You know, I don't know exactly the cause of fires. It could be installation issues um, and how it's mounted to the roof. Okay. So if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Why or why not? Probably not. I probably would have a self-standing solar array. Okay. Probably close to the home, but not on the home. Itself. So you would still have solar, just sure. not on your rooftop. Right. No, no, I have no problems with solar. Okay. Um, so I'd like to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. Um, sorry, solar adoption in general. Um, here is a map of the United States. If you could take the pen and just put an X or a circle where you think solar is adopted most in the country. I believe in the Southwest. Okay. So what, what makes that community different, um, from people in the South, say? Probably due to the amount of... Uh, days that we have sunshine and no precipitation or cloud cover. Okay. But the southeast would probably be my second area next to the southwest for okay. for solar. Um, what kind of people do you think lives in that area? Uh, well, probably there's a lot of probably a lot of retired people. Maybe people that have secondary homes in the south. You know, the southwest. Okay. Um. Why do you think the people here have the most solar on their rooftops in the south? More sunlight per day. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the state of Georgia. Okay. Um, we're going to do the exact same thing. Just put an X or a circle. It can be multiple places or just one place where you think solar is adopted most. Uh, for like residences or for, for corporations? Um... Just rooftop. well, well, rooftop solar. You know, uh, you know, probably I would say maybe the Atlanta area um, because you have a lot of people there with a lot of money uh, that can afford rooftop solar. Uh, the cost of living is higher than where I live in Augusta, so if you know they feel like they want to do some type of long term savings, um, then I'd probably put North Georgia people that live in the mountains and have cabin homes they may have it up there if it's if it's a seasonal home i will say that there are two major uh solar farms in our area there's one at fort gordon and one at plant vogel and mm -hmm. those are major those are like 200 acre plus solar farms okay um you kind of answered the next two questions so i won't repeat them uh so um that's it for that map then. okay uh what what about most of your close friends in Georgia? Do they have solar, and why do you think they do or don't? Uh, most don't have solar. Okay. And, I, and I, again, it goes back to, uh, you know, the cost effectiveness of, you know, what are you going to get for your money? 
uh, out of the solar. Uh, solar has traditionally been high. There have been some advantages, uh, some breaks given, tax breaks given from the government for installing solar. Uh, I think most people, you know, it, it's just not, in the long, you know, temporarily it's just not a big enough break. Um, now I'll say I think there's some areas where solar works. There, people do solar for water heating, mm -hmm. maybe for small scale needs uh, of energy. Um, you know, but I think that's been kind of limited. Makes sense. Um, so if you don't mind, now we're going to ask a few questions um, regarding the role of food in your day to day life. So could you tell me about what your regular day with food? looks like and what meals and snacks particularly look like i love food okay the last time i got on the scale it said fat okay but i do like food uh, i try to eat it regularly um, i try to eat healthy foods uh, i'm on the weight loss plan right now and so I over the summer i have lost some weight but i'm trying to have a you know low carb diet but i try to eat good food I don't eat junk food um so, for me, like, I'm at home for the summer, so I normally don't eat breakfast. I'll grab something for lunch that's either at the house or right. go out to eat. And then for dinner, that's more of the big meal that I eat for a day. Um, so, could you tell me what your go-to meal is and why? Probably lunch. Eat some snacks or something small in the morning time. And then... uh Eat a, a moderate lunch. I mean, I, mean, I think dinner is the big thing for me. Okay. But, you know, with dinner, you got to be careful. You really don't want to eat too late. You know, you got to be real strict about that because later you eat, the worse it is for gaining weight. Wait, I don't know. So you try, to sna you know, try to snack out through the day so you don't eat too much, you know. So what's, like, your ideal time to eat dinner? Uh, probably about 5, 5.30. It's your shame. We always eat way late. Now, that doesn't mean I always adhere to it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the, the ideal. ideal. But, you know, when you're working all the time, it's it's hard. So, how often do you cook your own meals? Uh, probably about three times a week. You know, and that's figuring you're going to have leftovers to carry you the next day. So, you don't have to, you know, cook every single day. Um. That's what I always do when I'm at college. I'm like, what can I cook that I can make the leftover to have Mac to eat? Like, Macaroni and yellow. That's the college staple mm -hmm. diet. Um, so are you the only person that makes decisions about the food purchases for your household? No, my son helps me. Okay. So, uh, so what is like their roles on purchasing food? Versus well, give me suggestions, you know, okay. so I'm not the only one that's always picking out the food they have. My son has, you know, he has input on what he would like to eat. It's kind of similar in our household. That's always the big conversation. What do we want for dinner? As long as it's not, you know, junk, junk food mm -hmm. or something. So, uh, how often do you purchase food for your household? About three times a week. Okay. Um, so, could you paint this picture for me? Let's say you're taking a trip to purchase food. What does that look like? Uh, I get in the car. I drop two blocks away from my house. I go into the grocery store, and then I just, you know, I, I try to look at what's on sale. Or, you know, sometimes they have buy one, get one free. If it's something that I need, then I'll do that. Uh, if they have a special, something I can freeze, like chicken or something, I do that. Okay. Um, when it comes to feeding your family, what are some challenges that you might face? For example, in my household, we have picky eaters on top of food allergies, so we have to take all that uh, into consideration. I have a son that's kind of picky, but he does have a, a robust appetite. My problem with groceries is my son will eat me out of house and home. He's a teenager, he's 16, he eats a lot. Gotcha. Uh, he's, he's as tall as me, so he, you know... You know, after the first meal, the meal is done, he's asked me, well, was there anything else, mm -hmm. you know? He's just a big eater. Mm 